Iran, coronavirus death toll exceeds 207,800. Over 207,800 people have died of the novel coronavirus across all of Iran's 31 provinces, according to reports tallied by the Iranian opposition People's Mujahideen Organization of Iran as of January 28. The official death toll declared by the regime stands at 57,736, around a third of the actual figure. Following the remarks of regime foreign minister Mohammad Javad Zarif regarding the purchase of the Russian vaccine, Minu Muhraz of the National COVID-19 Task Force reacted in criticism. Importing the Russian vaccine by the government is a case of bad luck for the Iranian people. I am not happy with this choice at all, she said on Thursday. As a member of the medical society, I will not inject this vaccine because there has been no information published about it to this day. The coronavirus vaccine must meet global standards. A vaccine is considered standard when it is approved by an international organization, and one of these institutions is the World Health Organization, and the other is the European Union Food and Drug Organization. This vaccine has no approval from any country, she added, according to the state-controlled Jahana Sanat Daily. Iran retirees protest across the country. On Tuesday, retirees in Tehran and other cities across Iran held a protest rally. Also, a group of social security retirees gathered in front of the planning and budget organization on Monday, protesting their pension status and poor living conditions. The protesting retirees say their pensions are lower than military retirees and want the pensions to be equalized. Mrs. Mayam Rajavi, president-elect of the National Council of Resistance of Iran, hailed the brave retirees for standing up for their rights. To end poverty, inflation, and unemployment, one must only rise up and protest to overthrow the mullah's religious fascism and establish freedom and justice in our enchained homeland, she stressed. Online Conference Experts Discuss Iran's State Terrorism in an online conference held on Thursday, a panel of European politicians discussed the ongoing trial of Asadullah Asadi, an Iranian diplomat who is charged with a bombing attempt against a gathering of the National Council of Resistance of Iran in France in 2018. Asadi and his accomplices, the Iranian-Belgian couple Nassim Naomi and Amir Saaduni, and Mehdad Arafani, were arrested by European authorities before they were able to stage the attack. Their trial started in Belgium back in November 2020, and the court's verdict is due February 4. The key message of the conference was that the only way to stop the Iranian regime's terrorist activities on European soil is to adopt a firm policy toward Tehran, something that has been sorely lacking in the European Union's foreign policy branch. <laughs>